you can answer that question in two ways. The first one is you're just guessing. You look in a um, glass sphere and the only thing you do is like, okay, could be. That's not what we are doing because out of my experience, frankly speaking, it's always, the future is always a matter of cause and effect. The future, the basis, the roots of the future uh, is always something that lies or relies in the past, always created now. And we identified basically four steps of the e-bike evolution. Um, two of them are pretty easy to talk about because they're lying behind us. Two is a bit more challenging because they're in front of us. Let's start with the two that we already know. The first phases uh, back then was the functionalization phases. The pure function was born. The pedelec system was born. If you look at this uh, roadmap we developed, um, this is showing the four uh, development phases, but most importantly, showing the dependencies because there was the bicycle. Out of the bicycle, bicycle technology has been taken, pedelec system integrated, then there was the first e-bikes. And once the e-bike was developed and uh, the e-bike was in the market, we at Highbike we took simply what was there and misused the components, mixed it up with the mountain bike and created something new and the first e-mountain bikes. And of course the e-mountain bikes became quite successful and uh, normal market dynamics always leads to a diversification of the products, which leads to more technology, like also like a light performance, new components, uh, more powerful motors and stuff like that, which created the basis for the next step. So let's have a little, a little um, glimpse in the near future. So what maybe things that we would see that all of you developers out there and uh, journalists, whoever should have on the radar. Let's run through this. First up, um, the drivetrains will, market will diversificate. E-Bike Future Conference 2022. 